And even though the groundbreaking ceremony is today, they were already hard at work getting this new facility built. And this is Val Gorder with the Gorder Family Foundation, who is uh, which is basically leading the way in getting this project built. Ms. Gorder, let me ask you firstly, tell us a little bit about the foundation. Well, it's just our family. It's our three kids and um, their spouses. And we believe in our city. We believe in philanthropy. So we are, we're small but mighty. And um, we fund other things in the city. But we um, have really landed on housing as one of our main priorities. So this is our second project. Um, the first one was uh, the Louisa Hotel in Chinatown that we partnered with the family, the Lee family. And then this one, which is so meaningful. With all the bits of childcare, senior living. Um, it just feels very right. So. And you just touched on a couple of the things I wanted to ask you about. All the bits that came together. Let's start with the financing. Yeah. It sounds like the, the, you couldn't do it without so many uh, financing partners. Absolutely not. Our other project, we just had one partner. And frankly, I told my husband, we cannot fund all of this ourselves. Um, and then not only that, but to have the partnership with... Um, Amazon, Office of Housing, and many other partners, it shows the collaboration of a project like this. So that piece was very important. And Echo Fund, which is another private donor who is also um, came into the project to sort of um, close that final gap because it, it was not easy. Um, so yeah, to see it all culminate today is really exciting for us. For sure. And talk about, if you would, mm -hmm. uh, the value of being able to get a lower interest loan to be able to build a project like this. Yeah, I mean, that, that you know, BBC was very instrumental. I, I have to, full disclosure, my husband has worked on the finance part. I'm the sort of, I always say I'm the visionary. <laughs> and then he um, works very diligently in the background to do all those pieces um, but I have certainly gotten to know how difficult it is to to make to have those low um, those low uh, uh, interest interest loans um, also North Haven sold us the land at their value which was really the only way that you can't offer affordable housing without having some of those um, pieces um, offered to you shall I say so so yeah there's no way you, you can't make the numbers work out without help from the whole team so to speak and we got it and I think it shows today how many people are really supportive of this um, now like, as the visionary <laughs> part of your <laughs> yeah. part of your vision that's you're a, you're a seer and there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> Thank you. Thank uh, you. part of this vision is having a child care center an early learning center adjacent to a, a senior living facility talk about the value of that I, I mean, that, that was certainly an idea that came from many folks, but my own mother, I know after she spent a lot of time in senior living, um, that my, having my children around, having other children around, was was what made her life full and, and those around her. So to, even though she is no, no longer here, to see that as a possibility, um, it's just, it, 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 yeah, it's very meaningful, for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. So... How exciting is it for you and your family to see this actually get started? Yeah, and, yeah. and we're looking at, what, December of next year for it to be finished, That's roughly? That's what they say, and um, I have a great deal of confidence. I just met the project manager for Raffin, and he says we hope for no glitches. Um, and so, yeah, we'll, we'll hope to see a very cool new building right here next year. Yeah, and next year, so. um. <laughs> Wonderful. Val Gorder with the Gorder Family Foundation. And remember, that's Gorder with a D when you're looking it up. So you may pay close attention <laughs> when you're checking it on Google. Thanks, Ms. Gorder. Appreciate oh, it. Gosh, thank you. And this is Darlene Storty. She is the executive director here at North Haven, where uh, how many seniors do you have living here? Uh, we have approximately 350. Wow, and they're yeah, generally lower living, income? All low income. Okay, and you have assisted living as well? Yes, and a, another affordable housing building on the other side of the building. Oh, that's fabulous. Yeah. So what does it mean to you now to have this one going in where you're going to have young families with young kids? It's uh, been a dream.
for, for 10, 12 years of how we partner to bring that rich group of people, individuals together to enrich their lives and enhance the quality of their life. So this is a dream come true today. That's all, you know? It's, Absolutely. Uh, and it's taken a lot of people to get here and I have to give credit to Kristen Ryan because she's believed in us since day one and it's been many twists and turns to the road, but we are here with her persistence and her support. So, And the Gorders, um, our mission statements line up, and so to have them support us, excuse me, and to see this, see them here today is just absolutely unbelievable. Then I should point out, Darlene, I heard you've been here for 35 years? Yes. <laughs> so not too long. You're, you're, no, you're a freshman I was, still. I totally, yes. Yeah. <laughs> just get my feet wet. <laughs> well, I know my one passion. of... Yeah, I, I understand completely. So one of the selling points that I've seen for this facility that's going in is that it's so close to so many public transit stops. I, I, does, does that help the seniors as well? I mean, is that good for them as well? Yes, but more so it's going to help our workforce uh, and for them to access wherever they're living to get to a place that they can call home. Um, as we know, uh, cost of living in Seattle is huge. Uh, people can't afford to live in Seattle and work in Seattle. And so this building is providing such a wonderful asset to our workers, to other communities, and to children that can be in daycare where their parents are working. So, um, you know, with Rewa and the Gordners and everybody that supported this, we're very blessed to have this come together. And you mentioned the child care. That was the next thing I wanted to ask you about because it sounds like everybody is excited for this opportunity for the residents here at North Haven to be able to interact and build relationships with these kids that are going to be in the Early Learning Center. Why, like, how good is that for these seniors? Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. I think one doesn't exist without the other. And I have a building of resources, and I need to have a purpose for them. What gives them purpose to enhance the quality of their life? And children are the perfect connection. And same with the children, to be around elderly people and learn and just have that partnership that's so healthy. So it's very important. It's very important. And you just touched on it, and Councilmember Dembowski mentions it in his remarks about the actual health value yes. for the seniors. Talk a little yes. about that. Um, well, research is showing that people connecting children and, and elderly people together uh, it improves their health. It helps them take their mind off what is uh, bothering them because they're giving to little children. Um, the children don't know any better. They just see a person who's loving and wants to help them. And so the longevity of life is being increased when you see these intergenerational programs coming together. So it's very exciting. That's wonderful. Are you going to be chomping at the bit until next December when it gets open? Definitely. We have a lot of work to do because, as you know, uh, intergenerational programming it has to be intentional for it to be successful. So uh, Kent Gregory, my board, uh, my president and I have already started on that path and meeting with people uh, like Rewa and their staff and also other people that have started down this uh, path with intergenerational programs. So what can we learn from them to enhance this program? So. That is wonderful. Darlene, I'll be looking forward to the ribbon cutting for the new facility. Thank Thanks you. so much for taking Thank a moment. Thank you for taking time.